Soon after the Chouteaus moved to the area to conduct trade with the American Indians, the small settlement at the confluence of the Kansas and Missouri rivers grew to about two dozen families of French descent. The men of the community spent long periods in the wilderness trapping beaver and other fur-bearing animals. The men returned home to unload their lucrative pelts and spend time with their wives and children. Many of these families took advantage of the fertile soil in the area and began farming the land. Gabriel Prudhomme and his family were members of this community. Under the Homestead Rights Act, Gabriel Prudhomme purchased 257 acres of land. The modern day boundaries are Holmes to the east and Broadway to the west. The property included everything south of the Missouri River to Independence Avenue. Prudhomme was a blacksmith who farmed the land, was granted a license to run a small grocery and a tavern, and possibly conduct a ferry service. According to local pioneer William Mulkey, in November of 1831, Prudhomme was shot and killed during a brawl with local settlers. Only 10 months after he had purchased the farm, he left behind his pregnant wife, Josephine, and six children. For the next five years, the land remained in limbo until the courts ordered the land to be auctioned and the money given to the Prudhomme family. James Hyatt McGee was made trustee of the estate by Jackson County. McGee had moved to the area in 1827 with his wife and 12 children. He was the first person to bring slaves to western Missouri. McGee had already accumulated 1,000 acres around the area, including land that would be future building places for the Kansas City Convention Center, Kaufman Center for the Performing Arts, Sprint Center, and the Crossroads Art District. With a busy steamboat landing on the property, the Prudhomme Farm should have been in great demand. However, on June 7, 1938, after running only two small ads, one in the Far West newspaper in Liberty, Missouri, and the other in the Missouri Republican in St. Louis, James McGee started the sparsely attended auction. He declared himself the auctioneer and started the opening bid at only $1,800. Before anyone else could make a bid, James McGee declared the property sold to his friend, Abraham Fonda. Fonda, who could not afford the $1,800, was then underwritten by James McGee's son, Fry McGee. Anger spread throughout the county about the underhanded nature of the auction, and soon Jackson County declared the sale null and void and ordered a second auction with George Tate, a Westport Justice of the Peace, as the new auctioneer. Unlike most of Kansas City's founders, there is very little to commemorate Gabriel Prudhomme and his farm. No streets or restaurants bear his name, and there are no statues or fountains that pay tribute to him, his family, or his farm that would soon become the town of Kansas. The Founders continues next Monday on Flatland, KCPT's digital magazine.